Okay, these are two uh, Fluke uh, slash Philips uh, PM6680B uh, frequency counters. I got both of these as a lot. They're apparently uh, uh, dead. Well, they won't power on. So I'll resist the temptation of even trying it because I was going to open them anyway. So I'll open them first, see if there's anything wrong. Okay. Well, other reason why I wanted to go in here is to replace this lithium battery. On the 6680, which is this one, the lower end model, the battery is not critical. It doesn't save any calibration data. It's just uh, presets and settings. Uh, on the on the next better um, US model, the 6681, that one does hold calibration, and that'd be a, a whole other story. I'd definitely try to, to dump the memory before I try uh, removing that battery. Okay, I looked around. Um, that backup battery is completely dead, and all the interesting power supply stuff is underneath here. I don't know yet if that part is bad, but in any case, I definitely want that open to make sure there's no leaky caps, because those can cause a lot of damage. Anyway, I'm, I'm poking around with a simple ESR meter, and one of these outside is really not great. Uh, those are hard to get to. It's This board hovers above the, the main board, so I can't really get to the pins. I'll just plug it in, try to power it on, see if there's any evidence that the problem's coming here. If it doesn't boot, but it shows some signs of life, I'll definitely probe the power rails. Some of them are conveniently labeled all around here outside the power supply. Oh, this is pretty... <laughs> Pretty obvious. I just plugged in. Uh, hopefully, uh, we can hear it again. It's just this wine that's definitely a bad power supply. That's os There's something oscillating in there. Probably the controller's fine. That's that's really uh, everything points to bad capacitors. It's late '90s stuff. Switching power supply, uh, electrolytics with probably high ESR. I mean, it's worth uh, taking this out. Which unfortunately is soldered in place, but that's not a not a huge deal. All right, well, this doesn't lie. Like they they stink when you desolder them, and they they spewed a bunch of uh, a bunch of electrolyte. Got pretty lucky. There's no serious damage yet, but oh man, this one this one's pretty bad. I'm not even gonna bother measuring this these. They're definitely done. I'll um, I'll check this one too, and I might pop out the bigger one. That's the input. This one here, this bulk capacitor. That one's right after. So there's AC input, uh, bridge rectifier somewhere in there. It doesn't matter. And this one, this is the bulk one. So it doesn't work that hard, but still, if it's the same same batch as the other ones, I don't think I want that in there any longer than necessary. I also popped out. Two smaller ones that were here, um, measured them out of circuit, and they are sort of giving me three, three to five ohms ESR. That's sort of okay. I don't think it would prevent it from working, but uh, I, th I think new capacitors should be a bit lower than that. All right, this is only uh, slightly dangerous. I. Um, I have it hooked up to the main board there, so this is going to carry 200 volts or something, just the rectified uh, mains. Okay, now I'm, I have it plugged in, but it, I'm doing this properly. It's hooked up to a variac here, so I'm going to ramp up the input voltage and yeah, see if it turns on. Ah, I heard a little, little high, high pitch whine, and now... See if I got anything on the output. Five point two. Uh, let me change the scale on that. Yeah, five point two. I think I got it. But this is just a sanity check. Now I know it works well enough that I can throw it back in there, and I'm fairly confident it'll work. I will check the the test points though. Okay, fast forward a bit. This is the second machine. I put back the power supply and uh, a few of those same suspicious electrolytics. And now let's see if it powers on. Oops, wrong way. 
Oh, so it's still making a horrible noise. Um, I'm gonna look at those capacitors and you know, turn this on first. Oh, interesting. Standby power works fine. Uh, before the repair, the repair it would uh, whine all the time, even on standby. Yeah, that's not good. All right, then maybe those other caps that I I didn't replace might be a bad after all. Long story short, I removed this again, replaced the output filter capacitors. Initially, I had only replaced the obviously bad uh, start cap. Now, this is three outputs. There's a 5, 7, and 15 volt rail. They're all floating until you install it in the main board, and, there, and there's a trace that connects all the grounds to get your different polarities. So I left this basic load on the 5 volt rail, and I tried a heavier load on the 5 volt. Uh, I'm just eyeballing the ratings. I, there's no way of, of knowing for sure. I figure the 5 volt rail should probably be good for a nap, so I hooked up this 4 ohm resistor for about a 1.3 amps, then 33 ohms for the 15 volt rail, that's around half an amp, and same thing for the 7 volt rail, and at no point was there any weird noise. I didn't try loading all three at the same time, but I really don't think it's going to be an issue, because uh, when, I, when I had this open uh, hooked in earlier, even, even on standby there was a bit of noise, and now it's just uh, dead quiet. So I'm gonna install it once again in there and hope for the best. Okay, I threw back the power supply in there. And now hopefully, hopefully it sounds healthy. Ah, much better. The next part is pretty boring, especially since I did it twice, one for each unit. I went through the most of the the range with my free uh, my signal generator here to test the sensitivity and all the termination types AC DC high and low impedance and all that and everything was in order. I also adjusted some of the DC offsets inside the the input circuitry. That's relatively non-critical and also pretty easy. You just need a, a decent multimeter. So I did all that. Tried to tweak the the internal oscillator as close to 10 megahertz as possible, but I didn't go crazy with that since it's going to drift anyway. So that's it for this. Thanks for watching.